Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Darian with Darian the Dev and this time we're going to do a quick sequel for dummies video. So I just want to go over like some very beginner level basics. There's not a lot of good content on YouTube for beginners learning SQL. So I just want to go over some very beginner level statements. This is uh, my SQL workbench. So you guys can go download this or whatever type of SQL works for you guys, whatever interface you guys are using, go grab that. So if you guys just go to Google and just Google Northwind database, this is an example database that already has a bunch of basically like customer order shipment information, like basically dummy data that we can just use. Should be able to download it. Um, should be able to download the database and then, yep, perfect. So you would just come here, download the database, and then you would just uh, bring it over into MySQL, bring it in as a schema. So I have the Northwind schema here. If we look inside of tables, guys, we're gonna have a categories table, a customers table, employees table. So if we just look inside of some of this stuff, right? Let's just go. Let's just go into customers, okay? So I'm just gonna click uh, this little. Looks like a clipboard kind of, but what that does is allows us to pull up everything inside of that particular table. Right now, this is not filtered at all. This is just completely like all the orders that we have in this table, right? We have someone here named Yang. All right, so. Let's just go ahead and go up here and let's just see if we can only pull Yang's information out because his name is really unique. So inside of our SQL query screen, we're gonna wanna write a basic select statement. So we're gonna write select in all caps. So we're gonna say select star, okay, which means basically select all from, then we wanna say the name of the table that we wanna grab it from. So we're gonna say customers because that's the name of our table down here. So we're gonna say select all from customers, and then we're gonna use the keyword where. So where is just a keyword that basically allows us to now select the column name from the customers table that we wanna grab. So we say where contact name, and uh, contact name is gonna to have to be exactly spelled how the column name is. So camel casing is very important, guys, uh, and the, the case sensitivity is very important here. We're gonna say where contact name like, like is another SQL keyword that is going to allow us to basically say if the name contains this and we'll say Yang and then we'll put a percentage sign right there as well guys but still inside the double quotes because that's going to tell it to look for Yang uh, first so it's going to look for a name that starts with that so let's go ahead and hit the lightning bolt and see if we can get his information back and boom so we have Yang Wang, owner of Chop Suey Chinese in Switzerland. <laughs> All right, so that is how we can specifically grab one person's information from something. All right, so let's query another table and let's see what else we can do in here with SQL. Let's do our select again. So select all capitals, star. So select all from, and let's just say the orders table, guys. Let's just see what we have in orders. So we'll go ahead and hit the lightning bolt and then boom. So now we have all of the orders that are inside the orders table. So you see we have all these different columns here, guys, right? So a database is basically just these all these uh, rows and columns here that make up a table. It looks very much like an Excel sheet that you guys have seen before. Um, and basically that, that really is all it is. Uh, it is a table made of rows and columns and it just holds information that we get from our program. And so in this one, our orders table, we have pretty much everything you can expect to get with any order. So we have the shipping country, the shipping postcode, uh, the region, the city, the address, the name of the person who ordered. All right, guys, so what we can do in our query statement, we can say select distinct ship country from orders. And we execute. And now you'll see we get a list of all the countries here that are in our orders table, but without them duplicating at all. So now we can see Germany's right here, but there's no duplicates of Germany anymore. Because this one is SQL for dummies, guys, I'm going to keep going over the basics. We're not going to do anything too crazy in this video. So let's just hop into different tables and let's just query some different information and see what we can get, guys. So let's see if we can grab every customer in the customer's table where the city is Berlin. 
So let's go up here to our query. And let's say select all from customers where city equals Berlin. And it looks like he's the only one we have there, guys. So uh, that's the only thing. So let's see. Uh, let's check. So let's try it. London, guys, and let's see what we can get there. All right, there we go. So we got a few people, few people from London in there. Um, so and again, guys, like it's all about the structure. So SQL stands for Structured Query Language, and it's pretty much just knowing how to use these keywords, what the name of your tables are and how to get the information you're looking for guys you can look up more about the northwind database they actually use it as an example over here so it's a very common database that is being used guys and over here on the side you guys can read up about all the other things you can do you can learn about joins you can learn about min and max if you guys want to get values you can learn about inserting and deleting for like crud applications guys so tons of useful information over here i'll leave a link to the description down below i hope this was helpful guys if it was please make sure you like share and subscribe it really helps with just the motivation to keep making these videos for you guys make sure you check out the freebie section down below in the description that i leave for you guys and come back for the next video i got more content on the way for you guys this is darian with darian the dev and i'll see you in the